Just after Donald Trump was announced as the US 2024 presidential election winner, Nigerians on social media are refusing to take it easy with Apostle Johnson Suleiman. In fact, they are dragging the prominent man of God by his suit and tie over his prophecy that a woman will win the election. Although it's unclear when this prophecy was made, in a viral video that netizens managed to dig up, the founder of Omega Fire Ministries confidently asserted that God, not man, revealed this to him. The person I see ruling America is a woman. The person that is vice will become president. Write it down. It's no secret that the current vice president of the United States, Kamala Harris, and her biggest rival, Donald Trump, ran a very tough campaign in hopes of claiming the presidential seat in Washington, D.C. Unfortunately for Harris, following the November 5, 2024 election, Trump came out victorious, winning 50.9% of the total vote, compared to Harris, who snagged 47.6% of votes. Months before the election, political pundits did not see Trump winning, going by his two-time impeachment from the presidential seat, abuse of power scandals, controversies upon controversies, and his conservative views as a Republican. On the other hand, Harris, who was abruptly forced into the race due to Joe Biden's health and age, was viewed as the stronger candidate by several political metrics, including her diversity and endorsement from the current President Joe Biden. Many astrologists, seers, and religious prophets from around the world, including Apostle Suleiman, predicted the election in favor of Kamala Harris. This has now put them on the radar of social media trolls, dragging them to filth. Popular social media critic Very Dark Man is also not missing in action as he dragged Suleiman and exposed his fake prophecy. As a sharp guy, the ouchy based man of God has made a U turn. What is his excuse for his prophecy that didn't come to pass? Hello, guys, it's Tico here for African Glitz. Since she was born, she has not walked. There's a kicker from where? Yes, Papa. Why you minister the power of God came upon her? If any prophet in Nigeria needs absolutely no introduction, that would be popular televangelist Apostle Johnson Suleiman. Although he failed to predict the damaging allegations against him by Nollywood actress Halima Abubakar and the assassination attempt, he narrowly escaped in 2022. Nonetheless, the 53-year-old man of God based in Aochi Edo State is famous for making prophecies year in and out, some of which come to pass and some which do not. Unsurprisingly, netizens have often argued that these prophecies are just calculated, research-based predictions. Is this the case with Apostle Suleiman's US election prophecy? In a viral video netizens dug up on November 6, 2024, when the general overseer of Omega Fire Ministries was captured on the pulpit, relaying a prophecy about the just-concluded US election. While he boastfully told his congregation to go and write it down, the man of God claims that God revealed to him that a woman would rule America. The person I see ruling America is a woman. The person that is vice will become president. Write it down. I will say this, oh, if you like, abuse me, insult me, miss nothing. America has made the biggest mistake. One year, they will start missing this man. One year, they will start calling for him. One year. And I see them planning to arrest him as his living president. Just one year. The fact that a prophet prophesied something about somebody doesn't mean the prophet is happy with the prophecy. You must understand it. People don't understand. Oh, why is this? Of course, in the short clip making the rounds, the televangelist didn't mention Kamala Harris as the woman he saw, but he made it clear that the president at the time would be impeached and his vice, the woman, would be made president. That's not all. The popular pastor explained that it would be the biggest mistake in American history because after one year, Americans will start missing Donald Trump, begin to call for him to rule, and Trump may be arrested. The minister said he was unhappy about what God revealed to him, but he had to deliver the prophecy regardless. Although it's still unclear when Apostle Suleiman made this prophecy, many claimed it was long before US 2024 election, but many think it wasn't long ago and they have been dragging the man of God. While implying the prophecy is a prediction, popular social media commentator Very Dark Man called him out and claimed that Nigerian clerics continue to make false prophecies because it's not a crime if it does not come to pass. According to the self-styled online police, 
the clergy is supposed to spend 30 years in jail for having the audacity to make a fake prophecy while further calling him a carpenter. The that just won now will be impeached. The person I see ruling America is a woman. The person that is vice will become president. Right? You, know, you know the luck. You know the luck when you get eh, most of these pastors from Nigeria. Now because see, it is not a crime if your prediction no happen. Or if your prophecy no happen. Now because see, it is not a crime. If to say a crime, by now, especially this Suleiman of Iman, you don't suppose spend give or take 30 years for Sanko. Give or take 30 years for Sanko. Not only you, only you every time. Why always you? Are you Balotelli? Are you Balotelli? But well, what is my business? The one where they always glad in my ass. Now the fact say every day by day, internet is beginning to reveal these so-called men of God in Nigeria. Not only Suleiman, there are a lot of them. Internet is beginning to reveal a lot of them. In the recording, VDM said that the internet was beginning to reveal a lot of fake clergies and future generations will be able to see and understand what has been happening in the past but shrouded in secrecy and a lack of evidence. The social media activist revealed that there was no miracle anywhere but only God ran miracles. At least even though we cannot achieve this uh, 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 religious and uh, all this way where religion not chop us, the next generation we see and we know better. That is why when they make all these videos, they keep them online. So that the future generation can understand that all these things, all these men, they do. Now then, they just go one corner, just orchestrate plenty, just have to be talk. There's no miracle happening anywhere. I God, they do miracles. Oh, that pastor prayed for me, I was healed. Now lie. Miracle day, but now God, they run out. But see all these ones? Pastor God, speak to Pastor Logan. Pastor say you get power. God speak to you, not green. Also in the video, the native of Edo State laughed at the people making predictions about the US election, expressing happiness that God shocked them all with the outcome of the US election. So now, God don't shock on us. All of now go with popular, you know, since everybody they shout Kamala Harris, Kamala Harris, all of them to say go play. <laughs> Prediction no enter. Peace and love, don't play. With nowhere to run or hide, Apostle Suleiman has now made a U-turn about the botched prophecy he made a while back. The cleric shared another video of one of his recent Sunday sermons where he claimed that Donald Trump would win the election. The sermon was delivered a day after a failed attempt on Trump's life. On July 13, 2024, during a campaign rally in Butler, Pennsylvania, the now president-elect was shot at but it missed critical spots on his body and went through his upper right ear, causing a visible wound. Unfortunately, three Trump supporters were not lucky as one was killed and two were critically injured from the attack. While referring to the incident on July 14, 2024, during a sermon in his church, the popular cleric claimed that the attempt on Trump's life had made him the winner of the election. The 53-year-old pastor argued that the hate people have for Trump will only push him further to achieve his goal of becoming president a second time. When you hate people so much, you push them into acceptance. He explained. He's not a perfect person, don't get me wrong, okay? Everybody have their challenges. But who is? Shot him. And I just told somebody, I said, America has just seen the winner of the election. Because by this action, that man has won. People that were on the fence have already endorsed him now. When you hate people so much, you push them into acceptance. Stop wasting your emotion. Never dislike who you don't know one on one. Nobody in this life can determine the outcome of your destiny. Amidst the dragon, Apostle Suleiman shared the clip on his church YouTube channels with a timestamp and an inscription that reads, Prophecy Confirmed. On the X app, he also shared the video with the caption, Stop hating people. God hates conspiracy, he wrote, implying that this is the prophecy he got right and the one everyone should focus on. But netizens didn't stop dragging the revered man of God, forgetting the touch not my anointed passage. Reacting on X, one user asked, what do you expect from a pastor that entered toilet in France and saw himself in Germany? <laughs> One noted, All these pastors are liars. No Holy Spirit speaks to anybody. One added, <laughs> Holy Spirit day, but they never update their spiritual server. Now 2019 when they use. One wrote, The person that is vice will become president. 
<laughs> Maybe she will win when she contests again now. <laughs> One wrote, Had it been that prophecy enters before? Therefore, no let us rest, cause they for say Pastor Tokam, Nari man of God. <laughs> All these bet Niger pastor where they play odds. One added, It's actually not a must for pastors to be saying these things. I don't know why. Fix people's lives and face your ministry now. If people start insulting you, then it's not God. You brought it upon yourself. America today doesn't need any of these sabi sabi prophecies. Niger Wala gone needs great prayers, visions, and whatever prophecy. One wrote, <laughs> Ticket dog caught. It was still deceive his gullible and ignorant worshippers that God changed the vision that the person he saw clearly was wearing trousers, which is supposed to be a man, since women wear skirts. <laughs> One user explained, that Apostle Johnson Suleiman old video I saw trending online is truly old. Who oh, mind haters? Apostle said it clearly here. He foresaw this victory, and why is media not talking about that? Mad people. Tell us, guys, what do you think about Apostle Suleiman's prophecy? Do you think it's a fake prophecy or something that may have gone wrong? Do you agree with some that the prophecy is very old and as such irrelevant to the recently concluded US election? What do you think of VDM's reaction and that of other netizens? What do you think of how the man of God tried to make a U-turn about his prophecy? Share your opinion in the comment section down below. If you found this video informative, please comment, like and share. Also, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to be notified every time I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. Thanks for watching and see you on our next one.